<laughs> so I guess kind of just walking through what you just said, you know, at this point you are saying that those reports were false. At this point, it's safe to say that the reports of the masks, the masked men um, in the black truck, those are false. Um, we do have a person uh, of interest that we are speaking to. Um, the person is not here at this building, but um, we do anticipate uh, an arrest. We certainly do. Um, but again, I don't anticipate that um, before the autopsy is completed. At one point, did you guys say this doesn't all add up? You know, I don't even know how to answer that. I mean, it's we nobody's been to bed in a day and a half, and uh, you know, I, I just want to credit everybody that worked hard on it. Um, the marshal service, the FBI, the state police. It was a collaborative effort, and um, we're really glad to have those resources at um, you know at, at our accessibility. Um, you know, we caught some contradictions in a few different statements that were taken, so a few flags had popped, and. Um, you know, it's a, it's a horrific case. I mean, we lost a five-year-old uh, child, a senseless death, who left behind a, a twin sister and a four-year-old sister. Is there, I know that obviously you're waiting on autopsy results, but is there any uh, way you can tell us, I mean, no. the child, okay. <laughs> can you um, say where the person, is, the person of interest is being questioned if they're not here? No. Can you, um, I just is the person the related to the five-year-old or had, had close connections with the five-year-old? I'll say that um, the person was familiar with the family. Okay. And so at this point, uh, just I'm not trying to, you know, to, to jerk this all no, around. It's just, it's, it's tough right now because we're still trying to put things together. And um, so I, you just, if you could just be patient with us, I'll let, I'll give everybody everything we got. Um, I just need to kind of, we just need to get it together. And that's what you're doing now, because I saw the district yes. attorney walk in there. You guys are just kind of right. doing this. We want to sit down, have a briefing. Um, we're running a little late, but um, we want to sit down, have a briefing. We need to get the autopsy. We still have children to interview. Um, and this case is not over. I mean, we have a five-year-old, um, again, uh, that was taken from us, and uh, it's a senseless death. And uh, we want to make sure that we have all our I's dotted and our T's crossed. And one more question. A lot of people are asking why this kid was not with his uh, custodial, or excuse me, uh, biological parents. Can you it, answer that? I, I would really be speculating if I, if I commented on that. Um, all I know is that mom was in uh, Amsterdam and dad was in Worcester. And um, it's a pretty sad situation. Um, to have three kids without their parents. Can I just ask one last question? Sure. Do you have any reason to believe that he was, that he, the murder didn't possibly happen yesterday, that it could have been days ago? No, it happened yesterday. You know that for Positive. a fact? Positive. Okay. Do you know when the press conference is? Um, again, we're waiting for the autopsy to be um, conducted and completed, and uh, hopefully our interviews will be wrapped up at that point, and um, then I'll be able to give you an exact time. Albany Med? Uh, yes. And, and the press conference will be here? Yes. Okay. Thank you so Thanks much. So much.